Hello friends, my name is Sagar Mori and today in this video, I am going to explain you what is Bootstrap and how to use Bootstrap in your application. Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework for developing responsive websites. Bootstrap is a free and open source front-end web framework for designing websites and web applications. It contains HTML and CSS based design templates for typography, forms, buttons, navigation and other interface components. It also provides optional JavaScript extension. Bootstrap is a front-end development framework only. Bootstrap is a collection of predefined CSS classes. Bootstrap also enhances the user interface by providing JavaScript framework. So to start with the bootstrap, first of all make sure that you have created a HTML file. Here in my case I have created index.html file. Let me edit the file. I am using notepad++ as my code editor. I have a basic HTML structure ready in the file itself. You can create your own HTML structure. To include bootstrap into your web page, you need to first go to bootstrap.com. From the bootstrap.com, click on download button. It will redirect you to the download page. From there, you can click on the first download button. You can also include bootstrap into your web application with the help of CDN which is content delivery network. You can use this line of code to include bootstrap into your web application with the help of CDN. I don't want to use CDN that's why I have downloaded a bootstrap file. And after you copy the file, you should unzip it. Extract the file directory into your root directory. So we have bootstrap structure ready with us. So we will need this bootstrap.min.css file which is a minified version of bootstrap. And in your HTML page, you just need to include the bootstrap file. So to include any CSS file, you have to write link href inside href value. Here goes the path of bootstrap CSS file. Now we have included bootstrap CSS library into our document. Now let's go ahead and try some examples to see how bootstrap works. So take an example of three paragraphs. So here are three paragraphs. So let me show you how this structure is going to look before applying bootstrap CSS. So this is how it will look if you don't apply bootstrap. So let me apply some bootstrap classes to show you how bootstrap works. So let's take an example of this first paragraph tag. Suppose if I want to hide this particular paragraph, you could have written display none property to this particular paragraph using its class or ID. However, bootstrap provides you predefined classes to hide this particular paragraph. So let's refresh the page and see the effect. Yes, so right now you are seeing only two paragraphs. The reason is the class hidden is a bootstrap class which is hiding this particular paragraph. In bootstrap, there are four suffixes for four viewports. The first suffix is excess, which is extra small. This suffix is used for extra small devices like mobile. The second suffix is SM, which is small. This suffix is used to target portrait view of tablet and other small devices. The third suffix is MD, which is medium. This suffix is used to target 1024 resolution devices and other similar devices. And the last suffix is LG, which is large. And this suffix is used to target large screen monitors or devices. You can use these four suffixes to target different viewports. You may use these suffixes with predefined classes. In this case, we are hiding this particular paragraph for all the devices. If I go to my text editor and if I add excess suffix after the hidden class, then it's going to hide this particular paragraph only for extra small devices and not for other devices. You must include this meta tag before you see the output. This meta tag indicates that this meta tag is dedicated for the viewports, which is resolution. In the content, you can see this value which is width is device width and initial scale is 1. It scales the device output to its normal zoom level and the site will open correctly without zoom level. So let me show you the output. So now as you can see here these three paragraphs has appeared. 
we are hiding this particular paragraph only in extra small devices which is mobile so in this case you need to go to inspect element and click on toggle device toolbar you can zoom in the output with the help of this drop down so as you can see here only two paragraphs has appeared it is because of this excess which is telling the browser that hide this paragraph only for extra small devices if i apply esm here which is for small screen devices then it will not hide this particular paragraph in extra small devices which is mobile but it will definitely hide this paragraph for tablet so this is the tablet portrait view and you can see the paragraph got hidden likewise you can try md or lg to see how it works if you want a particular paragraph to be visible only on particular device then instead of hidden you can also use visible and the suffix class so let's say if we want to show this second paragraph only on large screen devices then in that case you can use visible class and you can append the suffix lg and this particular paragraph will be visible only on large screen devices and now notice this change also we have also changed this first paragraph class for large screen devices so it will be hidden in large screen devices and this paragraph will be visible only on large screen devices so let's refresh the page and see the output so to run this example we don't need this toggle device toolbar so i am hiding it i am closing the inspect element also so this is the large screen device i have refreshed the page and as you can see the second paragraph has appeared and the first paragraph is gone it is working as expected we have hidden this particular paragraph on large screen device so this is the large screen and the paragraph got hidden and the second paragraph we are showing only on large screen device so it has appeared here just to check whether it is showing only on large screen devices or not let me again go to inspect element and click on toggle device toolbar and we are into portrait mode of tablet which is small device and not the large one so as you can see the second paragraph got hidden because we have written that it should be visible only on large screen devices and this is the small screen device it will be hidden in extra small screen device also and it will show itself on large screen monitor like this so guys this is just a introduction video of bootstrap which tells you what is bootstrap and how to use it in your application soon i will also upload more tutorials into my channel make sure you watch my other tutorials also if you like the video click on like button comment down below if you have any suggestion or feedback spread this knowledge by sharing this video link with your friends and family and finally thank you for watching stay tuned be technical